Hey everybody, welcome to my unboxing video for the rewards for the ElfQuest audio movie Kickstarter crowdfunding campaign. My box just arrived and I am dying to get in, in here and show you all of these awesome rewards. So let's get right into it. And then cut the box open and I'll take each thing out one by one and show it to you. So I hope everybody at this point has had a chance to listen to the ElfQuest audio movie. Uh, it's an audio dramatization of the first five issues of the legendary comic book series ElfQuest. Um, it's available on all major podcast platforms. Just search for ElfQuest and you'll find it. Um, it's pretty amazing. And so this project happened because of a crowdfunding campaign in 2021. And um, the rewards, the physical rewards are finally here. They're beginning to ship out. And I got my box and first thing in there is a packing slip. So I'm gonna set that aside um, just to make sure that everything that I ordered is actually in here. I'll refer back to my Kickstarter, but um, you know, nice sturdy box, some good packing in here so that things aren't jostling around. I'm happy to see that. Okay, so first, there were a few rounds of the, the, the crowdfunding campaign. The first we called the early bird, and there were some exclusive rewards during that phase of the campaign. So the very first thing that I pulled out is the Ayua, or as they say in the audio movie, Ayoa, um, either pronunciation is right, um, hat. So this is pretty amazing. This was only for the early bird backers. Um, I'm gonna toss it on here. I've got a pretty big head, so I gotta put it on the biggest setting here. All right, looks pretty good. Um, oh my gosh, all right, so there's a whole bunch of other stuff in here. So um, I've got several sets of these collectible ElfQuest character cards that were part of the rewards. Now they are in their own foil, uh, these foil, kind of packaging here. And what the heck, I'm gonna go ahead and open one up just to show you these really gorgeous, uh, we're calling them signing cards. So what they are are cards that feature ElfQuest characters and there's a blank space. So if you are traveling and you are at a convention where, I don't know, maybe Wendy and Richard Peeney, the creators of ElfQuest are, or maybe Fred Greenhall, who's the director of the ElfQuest audio movie podcast, or maybe some of the incredibly talented actors that voice the characters. You can bring these cards and you can get them autographed. I'm trying to preserve the packaging because I'm that much of a nerdy collector that I don't wanna you know, damage that. So I'm using my knife to cut in here. Um, if you're less worried about that, you can just tear into it, but um, let's see what these suckers look like. So I'm gonna pull out my set here and, oh, well, that's pretty awesome. The first one is a thank you that has Wendy and Richard Peeney signatures and looks like Fred Greenhalge and Jonathan Woodward, who is also uh, one of the producers of the ElfQuest audio movie. So that's pretty awesome. And then you'll see there's Cutter, the main character in ElfQuest, Lita, Skywise, those are the kind of first three main characters in ElfQuest. Strongbow, Moonshade, let's see, Nightfall, Tree Stump, Clearbrook, Dewshine, One Eye, Red Lance, Pike. Scouter, and Rayek. I think there's, and Sava, the mother of memory. Is that all them all? Yep, that's them all. And so you'll see on these cards that this blank space here is perfect to get the signatures of whoever was involved in the audio movie. Okay, so I got a whole set of those. So I'm gonna set those aside. Really excited about those. Ooh, oh my gosh, it's like, Christmas morning. Um, all right, so I've got a couple satchels here. These nice velvety little sacks here. So in the first one is something tiny 
And you know what this is. It's well packaged in here. It is going to be, oh my gosh, it's in here somewhere. <laughs> there we go. Wow, it's really tiny. So let me just hold it up this way so you can see. This is, I believe, the silver version of the Bear Claw Wolf Head Amulet. It's a little hard to see because of its size and its shininess, but it is um, a piece of jewelry shaped in a wolf's head, just like the character Bear Claw wears. And there was a smaller silver version of it, which that was, so I'm gonna tuck that back in to its little pouch there. And I think that this one is gonna be the larger stainless steel version that gonna be hopefully a little bit easier to see. There you go, let me get my head out of the way. That's pretty awesome. It's got nice little um, hooks there where you can put your chain or whatever it is that you wanna wear it. I don't know that I will wear it. I don't know if I'm cool enough to pull off wearing this out, but um, it will sure look nice on my ElfQuest shelf behind me. All right, so the two different versions of the Bear Claw Wolf Head Amulet. Really awesome. More signing cards. Okay, so these are fun. These are the tribe badges. So there's the Wolf Rider. I got a couple sets of them. Um, these are the, which one is this? Oh, that one is just as ElfQuest audio movie backer. That's neat. Then, Oh, they all say Elfquest Audio Movie Backer, right? So that is the one for the Gliders of Blue Mountain. That's a mountain in there, I believe. Oh, no, I take it back. That's Gobax. That's the Frozen Mountains. This one is representing the Wolf Riders with the Howling Wolf. This one's the Gliders with the symbol of a gliding bird, the Great Hawks. And then this one, of course, is for the Sun Folk and the Sun Village with a sun symbol. So those are neat. Um, you know, again, you can just kind of display these, but if you're into patches, which a lot of people are, you can put it on a jacket or something like that. Okay, this one's neat too. Can you see it? It is a sending star, sending star pin. The elves of ElfQuest communicate telepathically and in the comic, that's symbolized by this kind of star symbol. Let me see if I can pop this out real quick so you can see it without the plastic. Okay, let's see. There you go. That's really neat. Very, very iconic elf quest symbol, the sending star. I will definitely wear that out to the next con. Um, okay, let's see. I'm not sure what else is down here all the way in the bottom. That is a second sending star that I got. All right. The thing that I think everyone is dying to see, and I am probably most excited about in terms of these rewards, are the incredible brand new ElfQuest miniature figures created specifically and exclusively for this, uh, this crowdfunding campaign. So I got a whole bunch of them. Um, I ordered extra. So let's see who pops up first. So this first one is Redlands. One of my favorite characters. So first I just want to spotlight the packaging here. So um, they are in kind of sturdy plastic with a little um, a little card behind it. Um, the character is not like affixed to the backing. That's because they, the, the, the minis are actually made of a very durable resin. So there's really not a concern that it's going to get broken. It's not like you know, very thin plastic or anything like that. So I think I can just pop this open. There, yeah, there's a little tab right here. So let me see if I can just easily pop this open and get this guy out. Yes, okay, it worked. All right, I'm gonna gently take the card and, oh my gosh, you guys, I love this. Let me get my head out of the way there. There is Redlance. He's shaping a plant in the desert. 
so cool. They're very tiny, these figures. So um, if you are into minifig painting, you're going to have your work cut out for you. I myself, um, these thick hands are not going to be able to manipulate this um, in order to paint it myself. And my eyes are probably not as good as they used to be. But um, I know some folks that love to do mini painting. So I think I might see if they'll help me out. And I did get an extra set here, so maybe I will give it a go and see how badly I do. But I have a whole bunch of them in here. I'm not going to show every single one of them. But, oh, Night Runner the Wolf. I got several of those. Um, let's see. There's Pike. What I really want to, oh, okay. This one I'm definitely opening for you. Okay, so one of the stretch goals in the crowdfunding campaign um, was a special miniature figure. There are a couple of the special ones. Um, this one is not, doesn't look like much in the box here. It's King Greymung the Troll on his throne. And I have heard that this one is like extra rad. So let me unpack this one for you. Okay, so coming out of the box first is a stand or a base. I think I can rest it. Oh, you're not gonna be able to see that, but I'll hold it up as I go. Um, Oh, oh, even better. It's both of the special ones. Okay, so we'll continue with Greymung first. So there is Greymung's th throne, his Batwing throne chamber. And I'm guessing it sits like that. Okay, I'm gonna hold it up for you. And there he is. Good old Greymung the shiftless, lazy, indulged, cantankerous troll king who sends the wolf riders basically to what he thinks is their doom in the desert. I don't know if that gets blurry as it gets closer to you or not, but um, really great character voiced by the incredible Ray Porter in the ElfQuest audio movie. And here is good old Greymung sitting on his throne with his treasure chest. I mean, how cool is that? So awesome. All right, let me tuck him back in. The other special mini, slightly larger than the rest of them, was one of the coolest characters in all of ElfQuest, and that is the monster called Mad Coil. So here is good old Mad Coil in all of its slithery, mean, nasty, death-wishing self. Pretty neat. Now, in this space here around the coils, I think I might actually be able to tuck one of the figures. So there's a bear claw figure in here somewhere. And of course, bear claw was killed by Mad Coil, but also took the monster down mostly with him. So that's pretty awesome. All right, so there's a whole bunch of figs in here. Again, I'm not going to open them all. Some of them were bundles, um, so I opted for the bundles where there's multiple characters. And then in the, the third part of the campaign, the, the backer kit part, you could order individual items a la carte. So I just got a whole bunch because that's how I am. All right, so let's keep going down here. So this was a, a neat reward too. Um, this is a book plate, a signed book plate. Looks again, signed by Wendy Peeney, Richard Peeney, um, Fred Greenhalge, the director, and Jonathan Woodward, the producer of the ElfQuest audio movie. And this is a sticker, um, like a book plate, essentially is gonna go into a book. And there's a really awesome book in here that I'm gonna pull out. I, I did get a lot of many things. <laughs> okay, this is the very special script book. Um, it's wrapped in plastic here, so where's my handy knife here? I'm going to gently pierce this plastic without damaging the book so I can get into it and show you what this is all about. So this book contains, well before I tell you what it con contains, sorry for the brightness there, but you can see it is a beautiful kind of thick book. It's got a almost like a midnight blue, I think, um, cover with this gold metallic warp 
wolf logo, Howling Wolf, and then it says the ElfQuest Audio Movie Scripts Volume 1. So these are the actual working scripts that Fred and Wendy and Richard and the, again, incredibly and talented cast used when they delivered their performances. And these, the script was adapted from not just the, the comics, but also the novelization of those first five issues, which was called Journey to Sorrow's End, which really fleshed out a lot of the dialogue and, and a whole bunch of new scenes from what was able to be put into the comic. And all of that was used as source material for the audio movie. So um, first page, you get this gorgeous cover art from the Marvel epic edition of ElfQuest, volume one. This is probably where the book, I guess, no, I, I'll put the book plate here, but um, flipping into it, table of contents, um, a lot of credits at the very beginning, which is great. Um, there's a note from Fred, so you can read a little bit of his perspective, but then most of the book is this script book where you can read the dialogue. And again, this is exactly what all the cast members got um, for when they were performing their parts. So um, it's, it's a pretty big book. I'm flipping through 180, 199. Let's see, how many pages is this? Well, it looks, looks like it is 223 pages of script. And then there are, oh, there's an afterword by Wendy and Richard. There's Bear Claw fighting Mad Coil. That's one of my favorite pieces of ElfQuest art. Such an amazing scene in the audio movie. Um, taking place over, I believe, in the public version um, that went out, um, that's on the podcast platforms. I think it's episode six and or seven are the Mad Coil um, scene. So you definitely, definitely, even if you weren't a crowdfunding backer and got like your own personalized copy, Again, the whole thing was funded by the crowdfunding campaign so that everybody could enjoy it. So search ElfQuest on your favorite podcast platform and you're gonna find all 10 episodes of season one. All right, this is really awesome. So at the back are many, many pages. I don't know if you can see that, but it says Kickstarter backers. So these are all of you who supported this campaign, who made pledges, or who made purchases in, in backer kit. And wow, there is a lot, there's a lot of us. Uh, I think there were over 2000 people that actually participated in this, which is incredible. Um, really, really special. So that's awesome. Let me put this down here safely. There's a couple more things buried under all of my minifigs that I wanna pull out. Oops. Oh, neat. This is another thing that I think was another one of the um, of the early bird phase of the crowdfunding campaign rewards. Um, I might be misremembering that, but it is a, a poster of the ElfQuest audio movie, the, the, the sort of the key art that we use during the crowdfunding campaign. Um, and then there is this really nice art print version of it that's signed by Wendy and Richard Peeney. So this is on really nice, thick, um, almost like watercolor paper. And the colors really are super rich. And then this is more of a, um, you know, a, a, a poster pr stock, um, kind of glossy paper movie style poster. So there's two versions of it. These are definitely going in frames. I think that's everything in my rewards that isn't a duplicate. Yeah, I think so. So I'm gonna let you all go now because I have tons of minifigures here to open and maybe put on display on my ElfQuest shelf behind me. But like I said, I hope everybody out there who's an ElfQuest fan, and maybe you're not even an ElfQuest fan and you're just watching this, um, go check it out. Go to Apple Podcasts, go to Google Podcasts, go to Spotify, go to Stitcher, go to iHeartRadio. ElfQuest is everywhere on all of those platforms. Season one um, of this ElfQuest audio movie was broken into 10 episodes. Listen to them all. Listen to them again. Um, there's, not a, um, there's not a green light yet on season two, as far as I know. So the thing that's going to help us get there is if everybody goes and listens to the, 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 the podcast version and subscribes to it 
and listens to all those episodes, likes them, shares them. And the more people that do that, the more likely it is that the project um, to move forward into season two, into when the, the literal quest actually begins, is going to be more likely. So I um, hope you enjoyed that. Shade and sweet water. And until next time, bye.